Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. I'm here with my mama. She is visiting from Florida. Some of you may have met her because way back in, what was it, October? October. In October, that was when I first started making videos and my mom was here, my sister was here, and my mom taught you guys how to make her wonderful apple pie. But we've had some requests for her to show you guys how she does her pie crust how she rolls it out. So she has a very fancy trick that she's gonna show you. So I'm just gonna turn it over to my mama. So you guys enjoy. All right, thank you. Yes, I'm all about making things simple also. And my mother was the queen of pie crusts, but I could never learn how she did it. Roll it out in the flour, pick it up, plop in the pan. Uh-uh, never worked for me. And so over the years, I've got this shortcut that's amazing. Takes the worry out of making pie crusts. So, I just get a bag from Walmart or wherever they get you, get you these bags. And what I do is I pull it out by the handles because that makes that crease there. Then you just fold it up once, fold it up again, cut the top off. Very easy, just like this. Ooh, there we go. And cut the bottom. I just love this because it makes making pie, takes all the scariness out of getting the pie crust in the pan. And open it up, so like this, then I just slip one side of it so that I can get my pie crust in the middle of it. Easy, open it out. Now, you've got your pie crust made, and rather than try to get your fingers all dirty and mush it together, I just dump this whole thing right on here, like this. Okay. And then I just grab the edges, roll it up in the center, and just smush it together in here. Because you gotta have your little ball of pie crust ready to go. And this is just the easiest way I found to do that. Then that's all done. So what you do, flatten it out. And then I put the top of this over here like that. And then I take my wonderful, I love this. I showed Annie this. This, this happens to be a marble rolling pin. It's perfect. You can get them on Annie's. You can go to Amazon on, under Annie's video here and get this rolling pin. It's my favorite kitchen thing. And then just roll your pie crust out until you've got the circle that you want. We're going to use this in a, I think that's a 10 inch pie pan. This is the hardest part, just rolling it out. The hardest part used to be getting it in the pie pan. Not anymore. Okay, almost there. And then what I'll do when I think I've got it just about at the right size, I'll pick up my pie pan and put it over on the top and see if I've got enough rolled out. I'll show you in just a second here. Just almost there. Okay. Just going to smooth it out a little bit more. Right over here, let's see. Feels about right. Ooh, it's gotta go just a little bit more. It doesn't quite cover up. So, just a second. Over this edge. Okay. I think we got it pretty darn close. This will work. This is the cool part. So I pull the top off, just like that. Then you pick this pie crust up and it all stays together and you can, and any help, you can then slide your pie pan right there. Just take it, because it's all together. It's just not the coolest idea. Put it over the top, position it in there, and voila, this is gonna pull right off and you are ready to finish the edges and have this ready for your pie. 
Come on. Takes a little sometimes. There we go. Just pull it off. Woohoo! And there you are. Just finish these edges off and you're done. All right. Awesome. So, Mom, will you show them how you do your little edges? Oh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Now, this, I don't get real fancy. We've got a two crust pie. So, but if you've got a one crust pie, you just pull, just pinch the edges together, make yourself a little fluted edge. And there you are. Now, if you're making a one crust pie and you want to, if you're making like a cream pie or something and you want to bake, have a baked crust pie crust, then you just do what I'm doing. Now, I'm not going to go all the way around for time because you got the idea. And then you take, if you're baking it for a cream pie that needs a pre-baked crust, then you just take a fork and prick all in here. Keeps it from puffing up and looking funky. So, there you go. Good all night. right, Mom. Perfect. All right. Yes. Okay, everyone, we hope that you have enjoyed this video. Again, a lot of people have wondered how my mom did that um, in her very first video with the Walmart bags. So we thought that we would just show you guys that again. Again, appreciate you guys watching. And as always, remember that you can do what, Mom? Hard things. Yeah. And we just took the hard out of pie crust. That's right. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.